Hey, What's up, y'all? We are back with another car review. Actually, we're, well, maybe we'll That's sit outside the... depending upon how busy it is. It'll probably, it's going to be a car. Yeah, probably, yeah. I feel comfortable inside the car. Anyways, as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we're headed over to Kevin Hart's vegan restaurant, which I'm really excited to try. I was telling Nate I didn't know what to film this week, and I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw that he's opening a drive through fast food vegan restaurant, and the prices are actually really good. So I'm super excited to try it. Yes, we did. I'm like, ooh, there's actually a couple locations I didn't even know that he had his own restaurant and i'm like oh my gosh this is perfect also another thing too that's really exciting is he doesn't have impossible or beyond he has his own in-house plant-based burger patties and chicken patties so we'll be trying that out within today's video so i didn't even know any of it was vegan yeah i, well, I didn't know oh. i don't even know if he's a vegan honestly I, i'll google that i'll tell nate to google it while we're driving we're going to be heading to hollywood you guys know coming from long beach it's about to take us an hour to get over there so we are gonna rush on over there because i'm hungry we went to the gym we worked out and we're like we're ready to grow up and he has some good things on the menu and we're gonna be trying pretty much one of everything on the menu a chicken sandwich a burger some tots some fries and then he has a bunch of sauces and i will be trying all the sauces because y'all know i love my you gotta sauces. get the, the heart special i think is the, what it's called the heart house house sauce that's what yeah. it's called everything's always a house sauce yeah i'm just gonna call it the heart special yeah the heart special anyways yeah. make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up let's go ahead and get into the traffic and hopefully it's not too bad and um hopefully there's no line because this one just opened up two that's days Hollywood. ago yeah well we'll yeah. see anyways let's go All right, y'all, so we just came from the drive-thru. We did end up going inside. We were planning on filming, but it was extremely busy, obviously, because it is Kevin Hart. And on top of that, too, it's in a very busy intersection. It's right on Sunset and Highland. Y'all, I have spent, how much, I almost spent 50 bucks on I all this food. I forgot the last burger, yeah, 50 bucks. Yeah, about 50, only because I was like, you know what, I want to try everything, especially because it's all plant-based. I was like, let me give it a shot. Um, So I did get the um deluxe chicken sandwich. I made a mistake. I really wanted to try the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich, but I just got the regular one, and Nate got the double burger, uh, right? Double burger. Let's see if on the menu, if it says exactly what's inside of it, because I was like, oh yeah, it does. So the double burger is two signature plant-based patties, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, grilled onions, and heart house signature sauce. Also, I did get almost one of every single sauce. And then for mine, I got the deluxe crispy chicken sandwich, which is a uh, crispy chicken with honey, mustard, and pickles topped with our kale crunch salad. And then on top of that too, we did <laughs> get Nashville nuggets, regular nuggets, and we got frots, but unfortunately frots are fries and tots. They just gave us They just fries. gave us fries only, which kind of made me a little bit sad, but you know what? It's all good though. They're Nate, just trying to keep us a little healthier. Well, I'm sure it's probably, yeah, you're right. Cause they're skinnier. Nate over here was like, oh, these are very, like, they're not really salted, you know? And I'm like, I took one bite and I was like, Nate. I didn't taste any salt on mine, to be honest. I was literally choking out with how much salt was on it. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. oh. Now, normally, I, I I would rather have it be overly salted than not salted oh. enough. You know what I mean? But also, too, we ended up going back inside because we saw on their little summer special, they had a smoky barbecue burger. And yes. we saw the picture on here. I like outstanding. And I do want to say the pricing of everything is really not too bad. I want to say everything was $8.99. All the burgers and then for the... Um, single burgers like $6.99. Yeah, single burger $6.99. The deluxe um, chicken is uh, $8.99. The double burger is $8.99. Um, I do want to say... Bad. It did come out to 50 bucks, but we did get a lot of food. And then yeah. on one, I did get a combo. I'll let you guys see in a bit after I take a bite of this. Um, I did get some berry patch juice. If you guys are sitting inside, then you guys can get free refills as well too. My only thing I have to say about vegan things is why why are the patties always so small? Like this is like paper thin. Well, no, because um, if you get the Beyond Burger that's like cooked out cookout style, it's thick. Uh. I'm putting some honey mustard on top of it. I did get the sweet heat sauce. I got ranch. I got house um, heart house signature sauce. I'm like, y'all know me and my sauces. I gotta try it all. <laughs> Hold this is up. Pretty damn good. Hold up, honey mustard. You. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I love me a creamy honey mustard. I don't know if you guys can see right here. I love a creamy honey mustard, but on top of that too, the crunch of this actual chicken sandwich with the kale salad on top, delicious. Like really good. Mmm. Now I gotta say about mine, it tastes nothing like plant. It tastes like char grilled, which is like outstanding. Almost, it gives me a little bit of a, um, a uh, plant-based from, where do you get your plant from? I get it from everywhere. 
Damn. Carl Jr. I was about to say, I'm like, I get it from Carl Jr. <laughs> um, even in um, at Freddy's, I, you know, all, every, yeah. I'm like everywhere. It tastes a little bit like Carl Jr., but at the same time, it's not impossible. It's his own recipe or whatever that is. And it tastes pretty outstanding to me. And I don't, I don't do vegan food. I think this is a solid contender with Mr. Charlie's from the, and you guys saw that video. And I do have to say the bun, amazing. The bun yeah, is they, so soft. They grill it too. So right. it gives it a little crispiness. Mm. I want to try that burger, Nate. Let me set this down. That is a really good burger. It looks really good. It does have grilled onions on there too. Y'all know me and my grilled onions. Caramelized onions are the best. Also, I do want to say, I feel like he's very smart to come out with his own version of a plant-based patty rather than um, going with Impossible or Beyond. Exactly, because he's obviously, it's going to cut the cost and make it more profit for him. So Let's try this honey mustard real quick. Oh, he ain't kidding. Oh my God. And that tastes so mm. fresh. Woo. Okay, can good. they open one of these in Long Beach? Because, <laughs> oh my God. Everything's always out in LA. Nothing's in Long Beach. We just have to go for a drive, man. Mm. But I get this solid nine nine and a half maybe honestly i give mine really a nine good. too honestly you know what i think I it probably just needs a little bit more honey mustard sauce inside there yes i did pay 50 cents to get extra if it had more in there i'd be like 10 out of 10 honestly but definitely one of the best plant-based chicken sandwiches that i have tried and like i said i like it that uh it's not impossible it's something different something more unique Honestly, though, I will Let's definitely see. say that his patty does taste like Beyond or Impossible. It is that same type. I'm going to go ahead and try this sweet heat sauce now. Oh, this smells amazing. Oh. This chicken patty, he nailed the crispiness of it. it yeah, it's really so... crispy. Oh, my God. I do wish he got the spicy one because I feel like the spicy one would just be that much better, honestly. But this is all... This, honestly, I'm, like, really impressed. Yep. Because... I, I don't eat, um, I mean, I don't eat healthy food either, but I don't eat, like, vegan food or anything like that. This ain't healthy. And then... This ain't healthy. Oh, well. I tried telling him before when we went to Veggie Grow. I'm like, he's like, oh, well, I don't eat healthy stuff. I'm like, this ain't healthy. Mm -mm. Don't get fooled. Just because it's vegan or plant-based don't mean it's healthy. A lot of it but, is high in sodium. A lot of it's high in fat. It's just an alternative for us who don't eat meat. I still feel like his goal there, though, was trying to be healthy, though. No, I don't think so. I think his, his goal is to be plant-based. Mm. Bust out the oh. nuggets. Hand me the Nashville ones first. I need to try that with the ranch. I have tried Plant Power before. Ooh. If you guys are from California, Plant Power is another drive through um, plant based restaurant. Their ranch, which is actually vegan, I don't know if this is vegan, but their is like amazing. That uh, sweet and spicy sauce? That was actually pretty The damn good. sweet and spicy sauce? Oh, yeah, Nate was talking when I took a bite of it. Forgot to tell you guys, 10 out of 10. His sauces are literally killing it, and you guys They're know me and my sauces. This the is the Nashville. The Nashville. Mm. That's oh. Stop. Kevin Hart is going to win me over. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Let's see. Mr. Charlie's, I love the nuggets. So, let's see if it's better. Wait. You got you to gotta try it without the sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah. You're right. Come on, man. Well, I told him I was going to try the ranch. Duh. This tastes. Nashville bomb. Bomb. Oh, and it does have a nice little kick to it, but. Let me get more ranch on here to like Man. really try it. This is just like a regular nugget. It's amazing to me. Nate, I don't think can have the Nashville hot. As you guys know, he doesn't really eat. Well, we bought Fonda. Spicy out. food. Mmm. Oh my god. That Nashville. Oh. It is part of the summer limited menu, but I want to say hopefully they keep that permanent because it is amazing. I would get that again. I will say. Well, I haven't tried the Nashville hot one, but the regular nugget nugg nuggets. Also outstanding. And it's hard sauce too? It's good. Yeah, I like I'm gonna try that hard sauce. Let me try that. Everywhere that has like a specialty kind of sauce, so good. I'm gonna try the regular nuggets now. But let me tell you, the Nashville's 100% would get again. Those are a 10 out of 10. The flavors there, the spices there, really good. I will say on the house sauce, they're really stingy. This is like nothing. For 50 cents, I feel like they gotta put a little bit more than this. Because this is just a little bit, but let's see how this house sauce is. Their creamy ranch is good too. It ain't no, like, Heinz or anything like that. The house sauce tastes like a um, Thousand Island dressing. To be honest, I like the honey mustard better. The sweet heat is the best. And the ranch is better than the house sauce, to be quite honest with you guys. I love, so far, the fact that, like, with all these chicken ob um, objects, all these chicken items on the menu, he nailed the crispiness on Yeah, the crispy is bomb. Mmm. Honey oh mustard is good. Let me tell you. Sweet heat, though. Sweet heat is where it's at. Y'all have to get these. 
This Those are so good. Standing. 10 out of 10 for sure. And I don't do that. Let's try it with some of this creamy ranch that he was raving about. I wasn't raving about the ranch. Mix it in the two together. The sweet heat sauce is the best sauce for sure, for sure. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go honey mustard. To be honest with you guys, I would buy a bottle of the sweet heat sauce. It's so good. It's like tangy. It has a tiny, tiny little bit of spice. Just a little bit. The Nashville sauce on the chicken is spicier for sure. Here we have the last item that I'm going to be trying. Well, besides the drink, I'll let you guys know how the drink is too, because I think that is made in house as well. This is the barbecue burger, which is limited edition. This does have like crispy onions on it and smoky barbecue sauce as well as pickles. And it looks like kind of like a mayo. I don't have an exact uh, description of it because it's not on the menu. So let's it's see like how this is. It's like summer special. Yeah, they're summer special. Let's see how this is because it really does look good. The only way you find out what's on it is like when they read it off to you. They're like, oh, it comes with this, this and that. Oh, this is a double patty as well too. Mm. I feel like the crispy onion sauce will make or break it. Actually... Yes, I like this better than the regular burger for sure. I feel like with this, I feel like you should have it permanently because this is, mmm, 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 mmm. Man, one more bite. Mmm, mmm, Time to mm. try it. Honestly, so far, I highly recommend this place. If you guys are in the Hollywood area or in LA, he does have multiple locations, give it a shot. Mmm. Something One bite, bro. Don't play. Mm -mm. I'm telling <laughs> Nate over here. I'm eating this later. Don't play. This stuff was this expensive. Is... I gotta, I gotta meal prep this right here. This best thing. It does this... need a little bit more sauce though, because it is uh, a barbecue burger. I did expect there to be more barbecue sauce on there. I feel I like I a taste lot the mayo. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say I taste the mayo more than the barbecue, but still I, really delicious. I still give it a ten on ten. I don't care. This, this right is... here is the berry. Um, what's it called? Berry patch. Berry, berry patch, patch juice. Which you could That's get free refills for if you sit inside, but it was too packed up in there. I was like, mm, no, I could I mean, not imagine filming in there. They did just open two days ago, too. But for sure, mm, anyone this is in good. LA, it's very refreshing. Anyone in the LA area, y'all got to stop by here. Mm-hmm. Because... Mm. It's just highly uh, recommend this place. Um, it is definitely comparable to Mr. Charlie's. I think the thing is here, you have way more options than Mr. Charlie's. Mr. Charlie's is just like a, you know, kind of like ripoff version of McDonald's. Uh, honestly, amazing though. Like super amazing. I would highly recommend Mr. Charlie's. But here they have way more options. Way more flavors. So definitely more highly recommend um, Heart House, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for him to open more locations. I'm really hoping that he does open one in Long Beach because I will 100% be going here again. The only problem is, as we always say within our videos, every single time we travel to LA or to Hollywood, it's just like, it's so crazy that it's only 25 miles, but it li literally takes over one hour to get here. So it's just very time consuming and it's very irritating dealing with the traffic, but... A lot of road rage. Yes, that Can't is it much. for this video. I would give a heart house, honestly, straight up a nine. You know what? I'll give a nine and a half out of ten. A nine and a half out of ten. It is that good. Highly recommend it. What do you I was, give it? I was going to say the same thing, honestly. Nine and a half like, across yeah. the board. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. We will um, catch you guys in our next video. Also, one more thing before we go. We do have a cruise coming up, so we're going to be having fun cruise videos coming up. Um, until then, our vi videos may be a little bit boring, but we will be having yep. a lot of fun on the cruise. Just stick around. Stick around and yeah. make sure you guys... Thumbs up. Don't forget that. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.